I'm Jess Finster, Community Director at Bethesda, and I'm here again at Bethesda Game Studios to talk to the team about the latest update. There are some pretty major changes in this update. What are some of the biggest new features players have to look forward to? We're introducing a new mission structure with the Trackers Alliance. You know, it's a group that we wanted to expand on. You know, it gives us a chance to like really see what they're about. And with the players of Bounty Hunter, we can do some unique missions. In the first mission, there's a mysterious tracker that starts to show up in the settlements around the settled systems. I'm from the Trackers Alliance. We have a proposal for you. They'll invite you to their headquarters back in Aquila for sort of a trial mission to see if you have what it takes to be in the Trackers Alliance. It seems you've decided to entertain our offer. In that mission, you're after somebody who's been known to steal starships. You'll go to their chop shop, you'll get to explore the location, you'll pick up some great loot. We are periodically planning on adding new Trackers Alliance missions via the Creations platform. There should be a new mission there right now. In that mission, you're tracking down a former sniper of the 1st Cavalry. So you got to find them and then, you know, resolve that situation and get some loot at the end of that as well. Sort of continuing with the Trackers Alliance theme, we've added a bounty scanner system. So as you're walking around, you can bring up your scanner and look at characters around the cities. You can confront them and maybe persuade them to a peaceful resolution or maybe things escalate. You must have gotten some bad information. I, I haven't done anything. One of the other things that we're adding is the ability to craft ammunition. It's been a big request from the community. You can go to a research station, research the types of ammo you like, and then go to a bench and craft those as well. We did improve melee as well. We added different tiers of melee weapons to the game. So as you're running around, you'll see weapons of increasing damage. Uh, and not just that, but melee crafting as well. So after you find those more powerful weapons, you can take them to a workbench and make them even more powerful. I want to dig in a little bit more about creations. And Tom, I know you're the expert on creations. Thank you. So for those that are familiar with creations platform in Skyrim, mm -hmm. What are Creations and what do our Starfield players have to look forward to? Ah, good question. So Creations and Skyrim are essentially where ourselves, Bethesda Game Studios, and our community add new content to the game and where players can find things to continually grow their experience in, in Skyrim. We are bringing that same thing to Starfield to grow into the ever-expanding universe that is Starfield. And if I wanted to make my own creations, my own plushies maybe, mm -hmm, how mm -hmm. do I go about making a creation? Well, so if you want to be a creator, you go and pick up the creation kit. The creation kit is exactly the same tool we use to make the game. You can get that right now today on Steam, download creation kit, and go from download to dungeon in 30 minutes. So beautiful. get started. And who can make creations? Anybody can make creations. They can build them in creation kit and upload them to the creation platform. It's one of the things we absolutely love, seeing people go from a hobbyist to a professional. That's, that's how you get there. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we have some of the verified creators in the office with we us do. today. We have some of these talented folks in the office right around the corner. This is a big new empty playground. It's such a big universe. It's waiting to be filled with such creative and interesting ideas. It's almost overwhelmingly unlimited. The environment where we are working in is so inspiring. Everyone is so talented. You know, I went in wanting to make suits. I woke up this morning writing a script for my quest. And you know, there's already people bouncing around ideas. Like, people are already thinking big. <laughs> I think what excites me most about Starfield Creations is that we have so many new technologies and like places where to where to create new things. We have spaceships, we have new planets, people can create their own worlds in a completely different way. I actually bought the special edition of Starfield and that came with the art book. And very quickly I realized there were some pretty cool concepts that didn't make it into the game. So my number one objective at the moment is getting the Beast Hunter concept in. Have you ever heard of a Dyson Sphere? It's this big, big thing that surrounds the sun. Would you ever like to go inside one of those and fight a ghost ship? I, I might have you covered there. But I'd say we can probably say whatever we put out, it's going to enhance something that's already there. It's going to build upon something, or it's going to make it better, it's going to hopefully make it more fun. Well, I'm actually working on a companion right now. She doesn't live in the future, she lives in the past, and she's a veteran of the colony wars. 
She's not kicked out of the Navy, but she's sort of pushed aside into the Vanguard where you actually meet her during the Vanguard quest. In a future creation, I do want to make a weapon as an orbit fire mode. This is something I've been wanting to do even back in Fallout 4. I don't know, a magazine that fires standard bullets in the back and just with the press of a button, just swap to grenade launcher, free grenade, swap press button, swap to an assault rifle mode. And adds the extra layer of utility. Some of the new tech that I'm really excited to be working with is the spaceships. I can build homes that people can take with them. They don't have to come back to their home. Their home comes with them. So I'm really excited for space homes. With Starfield, there's thousand planets. We can fill that with anything. We can take a whole planet, put a full quest line where you stay on that planet the whole time and essentially build a new game on one planet if we wanted to. Creations could just explode. As soon as the creation kit comes out, you're gonna see a ton more stuff coming out. There is no limit in what people in the modding community are creating. It's going to be fantastic having like new planets just pop up randomly or new dungeons and, and quests for people to explore. I'm excited to see this game go from a Bethesda space RPG to possibly the most overtuned, overmodded space game out there. That's all we have time for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Just remember, Trackers Alliance and Creations are available in Starfield right now. And the Creation Kit is also available for Starfield on Steam. And to celebrate further, for those of you that have the premium edition of Starfield, you'll receive 1,000 Creation Credits. So check that out. Until next time, see you in the stars.